18. And when he was come into the ship, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. Jesus leaves. The man that was possessed, he wanted to follow Jesus. Uh, can I go with you? Because I'm not sure how I'm going to be treated. Now that I am clean, now that I'm in my right mind, I'm not sure how the town people is going to accept me. Go ahead, sir. Some of you in here won't allow God to deliver people without you putting your lips on them. Go ahead, sir. You better go ahead. You always trying to figure out, well, how long is that going to last? Go ahead, sir. Well, how long did it last with you? How many times did you fall and got back up and you fell again and got back up? But it was God's mercy and his grace. Another reason they know me. What I need you to do, go back Hallelujah. where they know you. Yes. Go back to the club. Go back to Jonesy's. Go on back there. Now that you're saved, go on back there. Get you a seat at the, at the bar. And order Coke all night long. Just, just go on back there. No, you, you're not going here with me. I am the light, but I need some light where there's darkness, so... You go on back. Yo, they, they know me in that house. That's where I got all my nickel bags and all my dime bags. They know me. Go. Yo, yo, yo. Go back. Oh, oh, I can't stay in Bridgeton no more. Everybody in Bridgeton know that half of those kids are mine. Go on back, go on back, go on back. No, no. Uh, I, I feel better if I... If I, if I go with you, go on back. Matter of fact, go on back and get on the choir. Because I want to see some of your boys that you used to hang out with now see that you're in the church. And you're lifting up the name of Jesus. Go on back home. We got too many folk that want to go over here with Jesus and won't testify at home. Go on back. 
Now, this is not what I'm saying. This is what, look at verse 19. How be it Jesus suffered him not, but said unto him, go home to thy friends. You go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord has done for thee and has had compassion on thee. See, some of us have great testimonies with the folk that don't know us. But for the folk that know our past, they still need to know. Because one time, how many of you realize that at one time that you were out of control? Let me see your hands. Don't, don't be ashamed. All of us need to have our hands up. Only people that can't get your hand up if you're trying to hold it down. <laughs> Out of control. How many young people know that one time in your house when you were growing up, you were out of control in your house? I'm glad I see some seniors Out of control. But look what happened. How be it Jesus suffered him not, but said to him, go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord has done for thee and has had compassion on thee. We are to know him, but we're also to make him known. And your witness and your testimony has its greatest impact to the people that, that know you from the past. Because some of them will, will walk away and say, if the Lord can do it for him or do it for her, I know he can do it for me. This man was out of control. But I want to close out with, tell your neighbor, he also was off the chain. This brother had all of his chains broken. Now, that 20th verse says, he not only stayed at home, but he went to 10 other cities and told them, about Jesus. Acts 1 8 says, And ye shall receive power to do what? To be my witness. First in Jerusalem then Judea, Samaria, and then to the uttermost part of the earth. He didn't allow this man to follow him, but he sent him back to his own country and told him to tell everybody what the Lord has done. How many of you in this room have something to tell somebody 
about what the Lord has done. Who, who has a testimony that say if he, if he needs somebody to testify, I can, I can tell you about what the Lord has done. And that's why I know that sometimes we get a little loud in here. And sometimes the praise is extended. Um, but don't judge my praise to your praise. Because you don't know. You really don't know. If I could tell you all the things that God has done for me you would be surprised how many ways the Lord has made, how many doors he has opened, how many he has closed. If you only knew that in spite of me, God is still blessing me. He keeps blessing my children. I got to praise him for that. I got to praise him for how many ways he has made. <laughs> Say, neighbor, now I can see why sometimes you are off the chain. Now I can see why sometimes you are out of control because of what God has done for me. <laughs>